If there's too much information on the screen, it might simply be too much for your audience to take in, and they'll switch off rather than trying to understand it. Even if they do try to understand it, the content that they're focusing on will not necessarily match the point you're trying to make as a presenter. You might think that a good visual on a slide is enough, but the problem is, most of the time, it's also too much. So it can overload the audience and creates a barrier to successful communication. Imagine transforming it into this. What do you think? Is it a good slide? Initial thoughts? Well, yes. It looks good. Not too much text, nice visual. We're using the visual to show the process, and then you can see the detail in it. The problem is, it's just taken a while to think about the structure of the slide, and we've not even got into the detail yet. And I bet everyone looks at a different part of it to start, so there's no control for the presenter and no coordination for the audience. Instead, take the same idea of a cyclical process, but start with just one element on the screen. Now everyone's focused on the same thing. You can explain it, and then use animation to click and bring in the second part of the process. Everyone's attention shifts to that, and your explanation accompanies it. Click for the third element, and then click for the final element. It's a great way to control the entire presentation and ensure that everyone follows along. A simple technique, but very effective. So what do you think of this slide? Yeah, I expect so. It's the same for your audience. Everything all at once is just too much. But now, coming back to it, what do you think here? It's exactly the same slide, but now just the diagram is there. Then click, and the first wall of text for the admins comes up, and then click for the second lot for power users. Just the simple entrance animations, which literally take a few seconds to add, make a huge difference, as you can control the pacing and focus attention. So even terrible slides can be made better quickly by building them up in stages. But how would you improve it further? Well, the diagram in the center is actually a good one. What if you expanded on it and added the bullet points into the diagram to show what's going on? This is exactly the same slide, but we've added clicks to build the content up in a more granular way. First, showing the customer success manager and the platform users. Then, each of the roles with the decision maker coming out, followed by the admin. Here, we're going into detail of what the admin does, which is what those bullet points were about, showing that they were assigned in the software tool, that they create user groups, they track usage of the tool, and they use chat support if they need anything. Then we move to the power users, who are the main point of contact, and relay information about the tool to all users, helping to educate and onboard them. What do you think? Same basic principle, but building everything around a single diagram, and using simple animations to build it all up in easily digestible chunks that everyone can follow. Animations in PowerPoint are all about helping your audience to understand your story. Don't get distracted by them. Speaking of distraction, if you're going to build visual slides, particularly more complex visuals, there is a risk things can get missed, due to a phenomenon called inattentional blindness, demonstrated nicely by a couple of researchers, Dan Simons and Chris Chabry, in Harvard back in 1999. If you consider that the real world or visual environment is accurately reflected in your mental image of the world or visual perception, that's probably a pretty easy concept. You can build up a view of what's out there. Not coloured circles, but things like dogs, cats, cars, trees, that sort of thing. Here's the crazy bit. In a dynamic environment, everything matches up. Real world and mental image. But if something new is introduced into the visual environment, then there is a decent risk that it will be missed. This is called change or inattentional blindness. Let's take a look at an example. Watch this video and follow the instructions. This is an awareness test. How many passes does the team in white make? What's the answer? The answer is 13. Did you get 13? Good. Most people do. However, did you spot anything 
unusual. But did you see the moonwalking bear? Sounds crazy, and you can rewind if you want to, but I'll do it for you. Now, watch it again, just generally, without counting anything. No! What that means is that in a presentation, if new content appears on a slide, particularly new content that's not expected by the audience, then it's possible they'll miss the change completely. There are two factors that affect whether new content is noticed, which are the colour and the similarity of the unexpected object with existing content on the slide and the magnitude of the change that's occurred. Even seemingly obvious changes can be missed, so it's critically important to direct the audience's attention using the physical presence of the presenter to ensure that they notice changes. By using colour, shape, texture, graphical elements and by drawing an audience's focus to an object physically, you can ensure that any changes on the slide are not missed by your audience, so they can more easily follow the story and understand the messages being communicated. Give it a go. Use animations to bring your stories to life and engage your audiences. Just don't overdo it. And check out brightcarbon.com for a whole host of tutorials and free masterclasses on how to make it all work in PowerPoint and Storyline.